Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've had a request from Samantha who lives in Austria and she wants to make her own bake bouquets out of roses and berries. I have gathered together a whole lot of roses and I've got some berries, I've got some lovely foliage. Now, because we're using things that have got uneven lengths or shorts and longs, it's going to have to be wide. So I thought, well, this is a unique opportunity to show you all how to do a wide bouquet. Now, as I said, there'll be short stems and there's long stems. And by wiring them, that gives you the ability to manipulate the flowers or to make them long or short or whatever you want to do. Also, what happens when you wire it is, when you look at these stems here, if you've got 20 or 30 components that you're putting into your bouquet, what will happen is the stem will get bigger and bigger and bigger and then you're going to have issues by putting the berries in. So if you wire everything to start with and tape it, it is seriously the best way to go. Right, so I've got a rose here. I'm not sure what roses you've got, Samantha, but this is what I've got. And you also want to know how to make a buttonhole. So we'll just keep that aside for the buttonhole for after and I'll come back to that later on. Right, when it comes to wiring, it's just a matter of putting the wire through there like that and and I'm using about a 22 gauge. The lighter the flower, the lighter the weight of the wire, the heavier the heavier the gauge of wire. So that just gets wound around there like that. And then it's a matter of taping. Now I tape everything regardless of whether it's fresh or artificial. It just means that when you're doing that, this tape that we're using is uh, it's fantastic, this stuff. This is the one that I prefer to use. What you do is you just when you're winding it around you sort of give it a wee twist like that so that it just binds and also when we bind them all together the tape actually helps to stick it all together right so that's your rose wired now for your ivy i'm going to use artificial ivy it's exactly the same process take it up through that leaf there whoops bring that down like that and then twist that around there. Now with artificials it's easy to just put a bit of strength into it but we'll come back to doing fresh things in due course. So tape everything before you go, wire everything and I set everything up into little groups so that I know exactly where I am. So that can go to there and then I'll just use a little bit of this. In fact no I won't, I'm going to keep that for using for the buttonhole later on because I like to incorporate whatever's in the bouquet into the buttonhole. Two be have I oh here's another little lot of berries so I'll just quickly wire those two. And the other thing is by wiring you actually get rid of a whole heap of bulk and weight so that you don't have to be carrying that. And it's so much I really prefer a wide bouquet because it is so much easier to do. Right, that's all taped and wired. Now you also want to Samantha also wanted to finish her bouquet off with a little bit of hessian or burlap. So I've got that there. And I also thought that because I've got the burlap going to be around the handle, it would be quite nice to put a few flowers into it. Now I'll show you how to make these another day. Right, cut that off there. And I'll just put a couple of these into there. So put the exactly the same way, wire down through there, hold it with a hand, twist that around there like that. Now there's lots of varieties of, of different types of tape but I prefer this one here and I think that this is, uh, I think it's an Oasis um, brand and it's called Cling Film or something like that, I'm not quite sure at this stage but I am going to take you on an adventure too where I buy all of my supplies and I'm going to show you and name all of the products so that it's all there for you in due course. So just wind that around there. Now that's the, this is the tape that I'm talking about and you just, as you, you just pull it out like that and then that will stick on itself so there's that that the plasticky one is the best one there's also this one here um, but that's more of a paper one and I don't know I, I just don't like that as much either and there's the brown and it comes in a green too but it um, sort of like rips see how it just sort of like pulls out when I do that you can pull it out uh, it's okay but it's not as, as, as proficient as this one which is more watertight than what this is right we'll get rid of those right everything is all wired now there's two ways that you can approach this you can go from using your foliage and doing like a little cage to start with where you put everything all into your hand like this and then just spread all those out and then just I'll show in fact I'll quickly show you you can do it like this so that they all go into there like that so it looks like a bit of a mess and then what you do is that you then just bend all of those out um, it's, it's okay, but it's not, it's 
for what we're going to do today, we'll do the other method and I'll show you how to do this another day. And that's the, the bottom up technique. I'm going to show you how to do the top down technique. Right, first of all, get all of your roses into your hand, all nicely wired, exactly as if you're doing a handheld. And get all where everything all joins together. So see these little these bits here where it's you've got the stem and then you go into your wire. Get those bits all together like that. And then yeah, that'll do for me. And then get a piece of wire and then you twist that wire around there quite firmly. Don't twist your stems because as you're twisting, it'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Right, keep that to there. And because this is going to be sort of like a nice little informal type of bouquet, I'm just going to have my flowers ups and down. Right, with the berries, it's now just a matter of fitting those in there like that and using your guide to pull that around like that to hold everything in place. Now I'm going to have this bouquet so that it's sort of like almost like a trailing bouquet. Now I've got that going there and I'll just bring that over to that side like so. Use your guide wire to give it a good pull to pull everything together and as I was saying with the tape the tape actually starts with the moisture the warmth of my hand the tape starts to stick back onto each itself so that makes it so so much easier to work with right what else have we got here I've got another group of berries I'm going to put these darker berries into the center so it's just a matter of it's like a jigsaw puzzle you just go in there find a wee hole and push that in and push that right through oops haven't got it down properly yet can't see because I haven't got my glasses on push that right down and into there like so so I'm actually just going to start to build up and around the flowers and I like because it's going to be a rustic informal bouquet it's okay to have your ups and downs now once you've done that get your guide wire again and give that a good pull now when you see all of those flowers in there look how big my stem is much much easier to carry and to hold in your hand. Right, I've got another set of berries. I'm going to bring that into there like that. And then, because I've done that there, I'm going to take that over to there like so. And then take your guide wire around again and give that a good pull. Now, what else have I got? I've got these berries here. So I'm going to put that berry into there like that. So, and make sure that they all sort of are coming through that one, from that one central point. Where's that gone off, oh, for goodness sake? That can go into there like that and push those down into, oh, look at that, it's already starting to build up this beautiful picture. Now, what I've done there, because I've got that group there, I'm just going to put a little group over to this side like so so that can go down into there like that and it's so much easier working with artificial forms now i need to find my guide wire oh my goodness sake i've lost my guide wire oh my lord never mind i'll get another one in a minute i'll just hold everything there i'll put another bit of berry into there and i've got this berry here that can go down into there so i've got three of those so make sure that sort of like equal distance between your three placements and i've got a wee space there so that can go into there like that and push that right down now i need another guide wire because i quite like to work with the guide wire and using my guide wire is just a little bit lighter than the one that I'm using for binding my flowers. And when you're doing it, make sure that all of your binding is near enough to sort of like the same position. That can go around to there. And how about if I'm a bit wise this time and I stick that out there so that I know where the thing is. Now, if you get to a stage where you've got a wee swinger like that, make sure that you anchor that in well because if it's swinging now it's going to continue to swing. I've got one more lot of berries so I've got a lot there, a lot there, a lot there and I'm just going to bring that into there like that. So I've got quite a bit going on in this bouquet with quite a few uh, components but I've still only got a nice th I've got a nice easy handle that's going to easily fit into my hand. Right from there now I'm starting to get into a mess and when it gets down to about here and you want to cut the excess wires off I do it about two inches beyond the end of the palm of, of my hand. Right cut those all off like that. Right now it's time to get into our leaves. Okay so I've got those trailer bits down there that can go into there. Now take that right up into where you've been doing all the other points. 
or all the other components that you've inserted. Right, that goes into there like that, and it looks like it's a bit fiddly, but it is not. So this here actually becomes like your foundation, so that's what I mean by starting from the top down. So that goes into there like that, bring that around and into there, and then where did my guide wire, don't tell me I've lost my guide wire again, no I haven't, there it is, right about now you need to turn it the bouquet upside down, give that a really good twist to hold everything in place, now when you look at it upside down, see into there, everything is all from that same point of origin from where we first began the bouquet. Now I've got, and it also, as I said, it forms this really lovely foundation. If you still think you need a wee bit more, go up underneath like that. And you'll see how it's, see that there's that lovely foundation with all those leaves. So you still would put your heaviest stuff in at this stage. And you can put as much of this into here as you like. I feel like I need another bit there, like that, and I'll save that. Now getting your guide wire, Working from the underneath, twist that all the way around as I'm doing. It looks like it's very fiddly, but it's not really. Right, now take that guide wire down, and then when you go to cut again, make sure that you cut everything about the same, well, actually at the same length. So all of those components into one nice little handle, and as I said, it's a great way of, when you're doing designs and you've got big form, long stems, short stems, you can actually do manipulate it to the way you want it to be. Right, from there, if you felt like you needed a little bit more foliage, if you had any holes and you wanted to incorporate something else, it's just a matter of just poking in through there so that you've got that lovely interplay of foliage and, and another texture. I feel that I need another one into here, so that just goes into there. And do try, if you can, not to wire your stems. So I'm going to put another bit into there and it's the textures and the forms that you use that are actually going to make your bouquet look really delicious. And this would be perfect for you, Samantha, for your sort of like late autumn wedding. Now push that down into there like that. And you see, look at that. And if I had all of those stems, this would be probably about this big by now. Really, really hard to handle. I think I need another bit. No, I don't. I think we're fine. Right, into there. Get that like that. If you need to, bind that again to make sure that it is nice and firm. Just do it one more time and make sure that all of your twisting is right up at the top like so. Bring that down, cut that extra bit off. Now, you need to now take another bit of some more tape, going right up into that point, right, right, right up into there. You'll see where everything's all coming in. Then get your tape and tape to bind off those stems. And if you can feel any little bit of wire that's in there, make sure that you push it down now so that there is, you're not going to have any little pricks of fingers and blood on lovely frocks. Right, just take that down there like that. And take that bit there off. Get clear my deck here. And then take that down, all the way down. Just giving a little tw a little tug as you go so that that all sticks back on to itself. Looks like it's taken a long time, but I tell you what, once you get into this, you'll be fine. Right, when I get down to the end there, I've got some long bits and some short bits. Just cut those off so that everything is the same length. When you get to the end, just take that up like that so that that is all bound off. Now, the reason it's snapped off like this, this tape, it's just a little bit cold here today. So just put your hand around there like that and that will all stick on together. This is, the, I love these bottles because about now what you can do is you can put that into there. Now let's look at the finishings. As I said I wanted to use some of these because I want to incorporate with this here, it's nice to bring in that, that um, burlapy look. So from there, it's just a matter of deciding and also the way that I've designed this is that there is going to be my trail down the front so that's how it's going to be 
uh, when you're carrying and when, when you are carrying it, it this should be like a glass of champagne I can carry a glass of champagne all night and this is what this should be so perfectly balanced in your hand with the fall and the foliage going over for that lovely look there now if you want to incorporate these just a, one or two depends on what you want how many you want but it's I love to do this to incorporate all these different textures so that can go just wanted one that can go into there in fact I think that just one would be enough if I wanted to I could perhaps put one there but I think that that will be just sufficient now bring that down like that and it could have been incorporate you know if you as you're going along if you think oh no I want to put that in you just add as you go and then bind and tape as you're going and the more taping of this that you do the thicker this is going to be and it also means that any wires that you might not have covered or if the stem's still not quite thick enough you can actually incorporate you can make your stem a little bit more firmer when you're if you do a bouquet like this using fresh flowers it also means that by taping like this you're not going to have any kind of because sometimes the wire rusts you don't think it's going to but it will trust me it does so just put that onto there like that and then just bring that down again and I'm repeating this because I wanted to show you once again just how quick and easy it is so just give it a wee pull just like that and that will stick on to itself and then when you get to that end but just put a bit of moisture a bit of warmth onto there and that'll stop it right the next thing is to a little bit to do the handle now I've got my hot glue gun here and it's just a matter of just getting that around there like that and then just bringing that quite firmly around like that to cover that handle like so and just keep going until the whole thing has been done like that and then when you get to that end bit, in fact I'm going to make this just a little bit thicker and I'm not worrying about those bits there because I know that this is quite firm so make sure it's all tight like so and then cutting that up there like that and then where I've cut that just fray those little bits there and make sure that there's my front bit there that that bit there goes to the back like so and then a little bit more of the glue oh, what is happening here with the glue gun oh, I reckon that. do you love that how it's done that it won't work but anyway that's okay we'll just put that there and then the next thing is using a little bit of string and then I take that up right up to the top like that and then binding that to get that sort of like a oops what am I doing here that to there and then take that up like that into a crisscross so you've got the crisscrosses up there for a really lovely um, sort of informal sort of rustic approach get rid of that bit there and then just tie that off sort of very Celtic-y rustic and then hold you might need somebody to help you give you a hand here take that up to there like that ah oh, perfect look at that it's fabulous loving it get rid I'll get rid of that little extra bit there because we don't need that and then because I've got this little traily bit here put that into there like that and then get a long bit of some more jute or some rope just to incorporate those three different types of textures like that and then turn that upside down take that around there like that and then hot teeth now. And knock that off. And look at that. Fantastic. Okay. Just like that. I will come back and show you some different methods of wrapping another day. Right, there we have it. A beautiful informal roses and berry bouquet. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope I've helped you out Samantha. See you another day. Mm -hmm.